example video two from the first depth, second depth method, uh, showing you a different approach to answering questions, a, a different method other than the one, two, three approach. This question is about a diver, uh, and they're going from one depth to another depth, and we've got to describe the change in the number of minutes a tank might last them. So with the first depth, second depth approach, we divide the pressure at the first depth, the starting depth, by the pressure at the depth the diver is going to. So at five meters of salt water, it's 1.5 atmospheres. We divide that by the pressure at 35 meters of salt water, which is 4.5 atmospheres. And the answer to that is our change factor, or our change constant, as I like to call it. So we have a change factor of 0.33. So now we look at the number of minutes the tank lasted them at the first depth. According to the question, it's 45 minutes. And we can enter that down on our bit of paper. And what we need to do is use our change factor to change the 45 minutes. Well, how do we want that 45 minutes to change? The diver is going from five meters to 35 meters, they're going deeper. We know as scuba divers, the deeper you go, the quicker you breathe through your air. So we are looking for a number of minutes less than 45. What you may instantly be thinking to yourself right now is if I wanna make 45 smaller, I divide. And this is the area where you need to pause and think about it. What number are you going to be using? You're going to be using your change factor you're going to be using the number 0 0.33. If you were to divide 45 by 0 0.33 following your first reaction, you'd actually end up with a number larger than 45 minutes. Hopefully, you would pause and go, just a minute, I wanted a number smaller than 45 minutes. I must have done something wrong. And you'd be right. What would be the right thing to do? You say, well, let me try multiplying by 0 0.33 and see what I get. 45 multiplied by 0 0.33 will give you the correct answer. Why is that? Well, because our change factor is a number less than 1. So when you multiply by a number less than 1 or divide by a number less than 1, the inverse of what you expect to happen usually happens. Um, so that's the one thing to be aware of when using this method, is that decision of whether you multiply or divide in the second line of calculations is a little bit trickier. So anyway, we've just shown that using this first depth divided by second depth method and coming up with a change factor still finds us the same correct answer that the one, two, three method found us in the earlier videos I was showing you. So you can find more videos, practice questions, and study notes. Uh, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out when I do release new videos. And you can uh, like my Facebook page to get information about training events. Um, and my IDC dates can be found on my website, www.goprocaribbean.com, along with way more study notes.